No. Where are you going? Come back, buddy. I thought you wanted to play. What is up, guys? Defragging here. I know I haven't been making videos for a while now, but uh, I'm trying to get back into it again. I know last time I said I was going to try and get back into it, it didn't really happen. That was because of some things that were going on at the time. But now I'm, uh, I'm really wanting to start making videos for you guys again, and a little bit differently. I know that in the past, uh, my channel was mainly focused on World of Warcraft. Now I'm kind, kind of wanting to expand and cover just whatever games come out and whatever I feel like playing at the time and just kind of do uh, either like let's play videos on them or guides or reviews or whatever um, and that's kind of what we got going on today this is Hurt World it is a, a Steam game it's a open survival massive multiplayer uh, or open world survival massive multiplayer game and you spawn right here on this uh, little desolate desert area and you kinda wander up here on this hill into this uh, little bit slightly more forested area but anyways main goal of this game obviously is to survive and uh, I'm currently playing on I think a Polish server I don't know uh, it, I just kinda picked a server that had about 30 people on it and uh, had good ping for me because given my current location, uh, it's almost impossible for me to uh, play on U.S. servers. So, you start off with absolutely nothing. And basically what you have to do is run around and pick up these little uh, twigs. Twigs and these uh, rocks. These rocks will give you flint and stone. And the little, uh, little twigs will give you one lumber. Or log one wood log. Now, since I spawned at night, I don't really know, let's see, how much of the night cycles left? Uh, there's a good amount of the night cycle left, so what I'm going to want to do is grab 20 logs as quickly as possible and 5 flint. That'll get it to where I can make a campfire so that I don't freeze throughout the night. Because they do have, as you can see, my guy is cold right now. It takes about, in the uh, in this particular area, with nothing on, it'll take about six minutes for your character to freeze uh, or die of hypothermia. So you uh, kind of want to avoid that at all costs. So what I'm doing right now is just running around and picking up these little twigs and rocks. So I just need one more and I can actually make a campfire. This server is fairly populated, so I kind of don't want to make it somewhere completely obvious because there are, just like any survival game, groups of assholes who go around with guns shooting fresh spawns. It's just the nature of these types of games. So in this particular survival game, there are a, a multitude of things that can actually kill you. Uh, the environment being a big one because there you can die of heat stroke you can die of hypothermia you can die of hunger uh, radiation poison and of course other players we're just gonna craft this campfire <laughs> place it uh, we'll go up on this hill a little bit and place it down so that we can warm up <clears throat> I'm so hungry. I think this will be too steep. Yeah, it's too steep. This should be good. There we go. And we'll just light that. Now whenever you craft a campfire, take it costs ten log or twenty logs, but you get ten of those back that you use as actual fuel to burn the fire. So we're just going to warm up a little bit, and of course the sun is now coming up, so, but that's no big deal. Um, there are, in this low, uh, well, let me start by explaining, there are different sections of the map, uh, mainly referred to as biomes. 
and each one of these biomes is different in the uh, in the layout of the land as well as the type of environment it is in general the climate uh, changes so say if you run over that way pretty much right over that hill there is uh, 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 just a desert full of sand dunes okay I hear people I hear someone shooting a bow Now that the sun's coming out, we're going to venture back down. But anyways, over there to the left, uh, if you spawn, it'll be to your right, is the uh, desert. And going there with no sun protection gear on, it will uh, you will die of heat stroke. Oh, oh, oh there's someone. Hello? Hello? Uh, do you speak English? That's the bad thing about these servers is uh, it's really difficult to find someone who speaks English and uh, when they do speak English it's not really that nice of English. Alright, well let's see here. I think I need the next things you want to craft right away are a flint hatchet as well as a flint pickaxe or a rock pickaxe, my bad. So you can start gathering these uh, little nodes. I'm used to <laughs> I'm used to the uh, other server I play on which has uh, I've been playing on for quite a while and uh, normally it doesn't take that many hits. <clears throat> so there's the desert over there like I was saying which will you will die of heat stroke if you don't go there with appropriate gear so to say. There's a flint hatchet don't actually need that, but take it anyways. And if you travel north, the further north you travel, the colder it'll get. Now, uh, on the left side of the map, if you're on the right hand side of the map and you travel north, you'll reach what is the Red Desert. Now, the Red Desert is more intense than the uh, standard desert that's right over these uh, dunes or hills. And basically it's like that all around. How I see it is this area that you spawn in is like a neutral zone. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. The only time you'll actually freeze is uh, if you're wearing absolutely nothing at nighttime. And your hunger is uh, if you're pretty hungry. Because I found that the hungrier your character is, the more vulnerable you are to the weather conditions. Uh, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, but uh, this is like the neutral area. They're not too hot, not too cold. Now if you go over here to the desert, it's a slightly hotter area, but it's not extremely hot. You can have some pretty standard sun protection gear and you'll be able to survive there. But you'll also need some uh, cold weather protection in order to stay there throughout the nights. If you go up north a little bit, you'll reach the forest area. Now the forest area is colder than the area you spawn at. No, 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 cancel. Uh oh! <laughs> Here though, and it's really close. That's one thing about this game, is the sound for the bow can be heard really far away. So you can't tell if they're like a mile down the uh, down the path or literally right behind you <clears throat> so I need to eat yep, there he is oh there's that guy too Jesus <laughs> so many people um actually we're gonna go back around and go this way because we need to find an easy mean of f or easy means of some food and of course you can find what is called orongs uh, it's pretty much just an orange that grows on a small plant and those grow throughout the map you're able to get seeds from them as well which you can plant and start your own little farm which becomes very useful in the later uh, game after you progress because those will be used to make gasoline which is used to 
power the blast furnace in order to smelt the high end ore so that you can make uh, you can craft the higher end items. Pretty much right now what we're doing is we're just gathering the resources that we can as we come by them. Uh, which is pretty much what your entire first in-game day will be. Now these little guys right now we won't be able to actually catch because uh, whenever you get within like five feet of them they sprint away and there's no catching them. So north of the forest, like I was saying before, is the snow biome, which is the extreme cold area. And in order to go there, I would recommend that you have warm jeans, a beanie, and uh, the uh, the jacket, the first jacket you can craft using Sasquatch pelt, which you find Sasquatch first in either the desert or the forest. So each little area gives you the materials that you need in order to progress forward to the next. And uh, another really cool thing about this game is I know a lot of people like to compare it to Rust, which is a really good comparison, but there are just some little differences. Like uh, there are vehicles in this game, which is really nice. They're really difficult to come by because all the ones that you will come by are scrapped. There's no tires, no gearbox, no tr uh, engine, and no gasoline. What you gotta do is pretty much find the ones that do have some of the parts, pick them clean, and then find a frame that you like because each vehicle has different uh, armor plating on it. So they have front, sides, and back armor plating on these vehicles. And pretty much you just acquire an engine, a transmission, or a gearbox and gasoline as well as four tires from just looting around and then you can go and put all those parts on a vehicle that you like that has a decent amount of armor plating on it because you can't actually take the armor plating off yourself it's assigned to that vehicle and it's not going anywhere so. <clears throat> There is a uh, a biome, uh, I forget what they call it, the Far Lands, I think is what they call it, and it's the northeast portion of the map, and it's a heavily radiated zone. I don't exactly know what the point of it is, or if there's anything that's actually there, but I know that even with a, uh, a Kim suit on, which will lower your radiation by a hundred then you will still eventually die of radiation so I've never actually explored it but it's something I do intend on doing now this is the guy that we're looking for these taller deer they will actually fight you which is a good thing they don't run away so that we can actually kill them And let's see, we got some steak and some leather. Leather is very handy for making some basic clothing for our guy so that we do not freeze at night. As long as we get some basic clothing, then we will be fine and uh, won't need to craft a fire at night. Mm, that's another gripe I have, how loud it is whenever you're uh, mining these nodes. It's just I need to eat. insanely loud, even with a headset, or more so with a headset. I need to eat. My guy needs to eat. Which he can wait just a little bit longer. Now this map is fairly large. I would say from your spawn, if you were to run straight north to the other end of the map, it would take approximately 25 minutes maybe give or take. It's just a rough estimate. A 
I feel like I can't even talk whenever I'm mining those nodes. It's just so overpowering. <clears throat> another thing, another very important thing that we're going to need to find today before the night cycle starts is uh, tendon. I we need can to get have the ships with on. Um, I don't know what you're saying. I don't like the okay, fact Okay, man. So don't care. I don't want to kill you. Okay, that's cool. Let's go back. Alrighty. You don't want to kill me. I'm pretty sure I wasn't really frightened in the first place, but okay. Whatever makes him feel better. really do not like the sound of that bow. I keep hearing it. Oh, okay. That sounded like he was shooting at me. Either he was shooting at me or... I need to eat. Alright, we got two guys over here and they are after me. Alright, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> Oh, no, where are you going? Come back, buddy. I thought you wanted to play. I need to eat. There's that. They're coming back in. I don't know where their totem is. Ah, shit, he's got a spear. Okay, that's cool. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, these guys. Oh. Definitely need that. Uh that. We need this. That. Shit, we're dying of hunger. What else do we need? Oh, I'll take those. Alright, so that's good. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. I'm pretty sure he's outside building something. It's not going to accomplish anything. Uh, I'll take that coal too. I'm so hungry. Oh, okay, I see what he's doing. Okay, I'm falling now, and I'm dead. Oh, oh my god. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> 